Hello, my name is Adrian Babinski, and welcome to the overview of the Unity UI for Leap Motion. When you unzip the package, you'll have this folder called Unity UI Leap. Inside here, you have a very important document called README. Here is the link to the uh, Leap Motion plugin. If you, this is required for the asset pack to work. After downloading it and importing it into your project, you will have the other folders, Gizmo, Leap Motion, Leap Motion VR, OVR, and Plugins. Let's see how this demo scene works before we begin. So I'm gonna hit play, and when I have my hand, I can move the slider, this scroll bar up around. I can move the slider as well. I can choose things from the drop down menu, and I can turn on the toggle. And the, I can also press the button, but the button doesn't do anything. So what is required for all this to work? Well, let's get started. I'm gonna go on File and hit New Scene. Here I'm going to make my camera black, and I'm going to set it to Perspective. After doing so, I'm going to create a menu. Uh, in 3D Space, I've already taken the liberty to create one before uh, starting the video. However, you'll have to set your own up to your own liking or use the demo one at right here. Um, after that, we have the menu set up and we have the main camera set up. Now we need to add a hand controller that's from the Leap Motion plugin assets. So let's type in hand controller. Here you'll have two. You'll have one from the demo, which has the assistant script on it and the one without it. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use the one without it. Drag it onto my scene. The scale is really small compared to my menu, so I'm gonna scale it up a bit. I'm gonna go 700, 700, and 700 on all axes, and parent it to my canvas. Zero it out. And then unparent it, and then drag it down. So after doing so, we can see our interactable range, and that looks pretty good. Another thing we need to add is the script called a leap event system. I'm going to drag it up on my hand controller. Here we can add exclusion layers, which will prevent the actions from being called on this layer, and the auto add leap interact, and that is what's added onto the objects. They're trigger box colliders that check for collision, and if there is some we will then create, do an action. For this also to work, we do need an event system. So let's go on game object, UI, event system. After doing so, we can hit play. When I put my hand in the scene, we can already see the robot hand. And what we forgot to add is the assistant script on our hand controller. So let's do that now. Let's grab our assistant script and drag it onto our hand controller. Here we have the, all the fingers and where the check boxes are checked, those are the fingers that can be interacted with. So if I hit play now, I'll have my index and my middle finger be the two interactable objects. So I can do like this. However, my pinky doesn't do anything. This is helpful for when you do this and you have your palm touching other items. So I like to interact with my GUI with two fingers, like so. And that has been the overview for the Unity UI for Leap Motion.